Alrighty guys, there we have it again. Supposedly the biggest kingpin of steroids in Australia, a freaking big koala slash kangaroo hybrid, has been caught. His name is Lee Clark. He happens to be a Brit national converted into a kangaroo and a dingo Australian producing, I mean, the biggest uh, blow of steroids in the east coast of that island down there. Uh, he's 37 years old. He happens to be also the personal trainer of several stars, amongst which Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman, right? Wolverine, the X-Man Wolverine. He is his personal trainer. And now they say they need to scrutinize every single person involved with this dude, including these stars. See, they're still demonizing the steroids. And, and guess what? They did not... Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, forget the chance to link the steroids with the word drugs. They're saying they found also ecstasy and other stuff, right? Guys, you need to wake up. This is big pharma. Big pharma freaking conspiracy. They do not want to let the monopoly. They want to keep all the money flowing. So they're portraying this poor guy as freaking Frank White. Like the kingpin of New York. Or freaking Rick Ross importing whatever kind of, of, of cocaine and, and you name it. The movie Blow, for God's sake. Doesn't make sense, guys, right? They're basically targeting small fish in the sea. He's what? He's just a reseller, for God's sake. Because you are, you freaking big pharma, you are keeping the monopoly. You're demonizing testosterone, which belongs to men. I mean, you destroyed the production, the natural production of men with the freaking pollution, with all this freaking industry, Right? With all that, the freaking mimicking particles that basically kill kill man virility. So give them back that that that, that testosterone. It belongs to men. I mean, women can go to the freaking pharmacy and buy astrogene and you know progesterone and all other, the other control and contraceptive uh, product. They can also have hormonal therapy at forty five years old or forty year old with no problem. For a man, it's a struggle. It is scrutinized. If he goes to his doctor, the first answer is no. I'm not going to give you back your manhood. Give them back legalized freaking testosterone for God's sake and stop this bullshit accusing people of being drug dealers where they're merely trying to escape from you. Wake up, guys. This is big pharma. It happens in every field. In my country, Canada, uh, the uh, private production of marijuana, pot, was legal. If your doctor gives you the go, you could have the, the license to produce your own pot. Guess what? Last year, they revoked that law. They said, no, you no longer have to produce, uh, you no longer have the right to produce your own pot. Now, they brought big pharma. Only pharmacies can produce, corporations can produce, a huge amount of parts so they will get all the money so it's all about the benjamin guys right stop scrutinize this for god's sake right people are buying some junk made out of in freaking hot tub insecure dangerous for their health so they're taking risk with the freaking generation everybody's being is buying stuff that is not pharma grade because of them because they do not want to legalize it right and they push people to extremes I want to attach a video of a huge guy doing some cam shows. Why is he doing some cam shows according to you? It's to pay for his, his freaking bills. For the freaking huge amount of antibiotics he's, he's, he's taking. Because he's buying it on the black market. That's what's up. Salute you wherever you are. The story is attached. And I do not salute Big Pharma. Freaking legalize testosterone. Give men their virility back. You took it with your pollution. That's why men are less virile than 50 years ago. You created the problem and you do not want to fix it. Damn you.